The figure given here shows the monthly income and expenditure data for the individual members of four families. The four families have been denoted by different signs on the graph. For example, the Ahujas are denoted by black squares. We can see on the left that there are three black squares. So they denote three different members of the Ahuja family. Likewise, the Bose family with white squares, three members again. The Kumar family, the white circles. Again, three members and the Dubey family, the black circles, just two members. The incomes of these individual members have been shown on the Y axis and the expenditure has been shown on the X axis. And then there is this diagonal line in the middle, which means income is equal to expenditure. So anybody who falls on that line does not save anything. His income would be equal to his expenditure. For example, look at this person. Since it's a black circle, he belongs to the Dubey family. His expenditure is around 1250. And if you look at the Y axis, his income is also around 1250. So as per the question, his savings are zero. Let's go to the questions now. We need to find out the family that has got the lowest average income. This is how we do it. Let's look at Bo's family first. We can form an imaginary triangle by joining the three points corresponding to the three members of the Bose family. Now just imagine where would the centroid of this triangle be? Centroid as you know is a very special point. It's made up of the arithmetic means or averages of the corresponding numbers. So the Y coordinate of the centroid would be the average of the three Y coordinates, which in this case would be the incomes of the three members of the Bose family. So in this case, the number would be approximately 2400 and that's the approximate average income of the Bose family. Now let's do this exercise for the rest three as well. The Ahuja family. Let's draw the triangle and mark the centroid approximately. This would join somewhere around 3000 and that's their approximate average income. Now the Kumar family. The centroid would join somewhere around 1700 and that's their income. And the last one, the Dubey family, now it's just two points. So we would take the midpoint of this line and it would join the Y axis somewhere around 2200, which becomes the average income of the Dubey family. So now the four numbers are in front of us and we can see that they are far apart. So any approximations that we might have done would not make any difference to our answer. We can see that the Kumar family at 1700 has got the lowest average income. And so our answer would be option three. Question number two asks us to calculate the highest average expenditure. We would repeat the same exercise that we did in question number one. Ahuja family. Bose family. Kumar family. And the Dubey family. So for the first three, we have marked the approximate position of the centroids. And for the last one, the midpoint. Now, since we have understood how to do this, we would not write the approximate numbers even. We just need to see which one of them is at the rightmost position on the X axis. That obviously would have the highest expenditure. In this case, it's the Dubey family. And so our answer has to be option four. Now we will leave these triangles intact because we'll probably need them in all the questions. The third one. Which family has the lowest average savings? In the first two questions, we worked on the incomes and the expenditures respectively. Now it's the savings. Savings is income minus expenditure. We already discussed the significance of this diagonal line. It indicates income is equal to expenditure. So a person that doesn't save anything would lie on this line. Now a person above this line would save something. but Closer a point is to the line indicating income is equal to expenditure. Lower are the savings. That's very obvious. Now, if we look at this graph, which is the point that's the closest to this diagonal line. Though it's quite obvious, but let's still find out for the sake of understanding. Ahuja family. This is the distance. Bose family. That's the distance. Kumar family. That's the distance. And finally, the Dubey family. This is the distance. You must have guessed by now what's going to be our answer.
yes it has to be the dubey family it's much shorter the distance as compared to the rest three so that has pretty much taken care of any approximations that we might have done our answer would be option 4 now let's look at the last question of this set it's a simple one the highest amount of savings accrues to a member of which family as we saw in the last question the closer a point is to the line lower are the savings likewise farther a point is to the left of the line indicating income is equal to expenditure higher are the savings again that's obvious so we need to find the point that's the farthest from this diagonal line look at this black square it's at a much greater distance as compared to any of the rest of the points this point denotes a member of the ahuja family since it's a black square so the answer has to be option 1